Science Notebooks puts familiar data science tools directly within Esri's geospatial cloud, allowing you to use Jupyter to create hosted Python notebooks that are tightly integrated with your portal. And all of this is powered by a new ArcGIS notebook server that runs within ArcGIS Enterprise. Now, creating a new ArcGIS notebook is simple. Just click the notebook option in the portal, and you're ready to get started. By default, this first cell will bring in the ArcGIS API for Python. But one of the things I love most about this product is how easy it is to integrate with open data science libraries. So I'll bring in two of my favorites. I'll import pandas for exploring data and Seaborn for charting it. I'll also bring in ArcPy. Now this is completely independent of any desktop deployment. This way, I can solve even the most complex spatial problems. So imagine you want to solve a problem, such as improving the health of our nation's watersheds. Among other things, you will need to understand which watersheds are being negatively impacted by human activity. And for that, you need data. Using the notebook interface, I have access to all of the data within my organization. So I can quickly find layers that are relevant to my analysis, such as this layer of the location of Superfund sites. I also have access to the thousands of data sets within the Living Atlas, so that I can search for additional information that may help me complete my workflow, such as this layer of watershed boundaries. Now that I've added this data to the notebook, let's quickly visualize it on a map so that we can see if there's any spatial patterns that immediately stand out. It looks like there's a high concentration of Superfund sites in the Northeast, but that there are other dense pockets scattered across the US. Let's use pandas to more closely explore the attributes of this data. It looks like there's a field called national priority list status. Let's use Seaborn to chart the data around this field so we can see how it's distributed. Now that we have a better understanding of our data's attributes, it's time to do some analysis. Not only does ArcGIS Notebooks give me access to the Python API and ArcPy, but I can also browse through any of the tools that are available through my portal including the standard analysis tools, geoanalytics, and raster analysis. Now for this problem, I'll use find hotspots to look for the statistically significant patterns within the Superfund site data set. And while this runs, I can continue to write code. For example, I can add the output of my analysis to the map as soon as it finishes. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and share this notebook with others in my organization. That way, they can review my work or pick up where I've left off. They can even use this notebook as the starting point for a completely separate analysis. So our hotspots just finished. So let's take a look at our map and see the results. It looks like these watersheds in the Northeast are in the middle of a Superfund site hotspot. So as we continue to work towards our goal of improving our nation's watersheds, we'll want to pay close attention to what's happening in this already high-risk area. Now, this example was pretty simple, but notebooks can be much more sophisticated. This notebook uses spatial machine learning driven by ArcPy to find the ideal location for a new restaurant in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So let's jump right into the analysis. Density-based clustering is a tool from ArcPy, and it provides three different machine learning algorithms to help you find clusters in your data based on location, allowing you to distinguish real patterns from the noise. Now, in this map, each point represents an existing restaurant in Pittsburgh, and the color-coded clusters represent the neighborhoods or areas where people are gathering. So it's a good start, but what we really need to narrow our search is an area of interest to explore. And for that, we'll use another tool from ArcPy, 
This one's called directional distribution, and what it does is take those clusters we just built and generate ellipses based on the standard deviation of each cluster. Now we have real areas that we can go and visit and explore. And if we wanted to, we could continue on with this analysis, enriching data and prioritizing each ellipse by potential sales volume until we finally end up with a completely data-driven data analysis for our workflow. And this machine learning model is just one of the ready-to-use samples that come included with ArcGIS notebooks. These notebooks are designed to show you how to use the Python API, ArcPy, and data science libraries together or on their own and cover topics such as site selection, network analysis, spatial prediction, deep learning, and can even help you with content management and administrative workflows. These samples, along with the notebooks you create, are saved as items in your portal, making them accessible whenever you might need them. ArcGIS Notebooks is going to be available later this month, and I cannot wait to see what all of you do with it. Thank you.